This is high stakes. Welcome to High Stakes, TV's only inter-college test of knowledge. This is the show where big risks mean big rewards. It's the ultimate test of knowledge, quick thinking, strategy and risk taking. Can our contestants cope under the pressure inside the challenge zone? Well, let's find out and meet the teams. This week we have Godalming College. Hi, I'm Toby. Hi, I'm Lawrence. I'm Harry. Hi, I'm Zach and I'm the team leader. Wonderful. Now, I understand one of you had a, a bit of an incident on the Frog Tours in London. Yeah, that would be me. Okay, and what happened there? I almost drowned because the boat started to sink, and we had to be rescued by a police boat, I believe. That is quite an incident. I was two at the time, so it's a bit of a traumatic memory. Okay. Haunting me for the rest of my life. <laughs> you remember that well, do you? Oh, don't? yes. And against them this week, we have Richard Taunton College. Hi, I'm Will. I'm team captain. I'm Harry. Hi, I'm Adam. Hi, I'm Alex. Splendid. Very pleased to meet you all. Okay, so I believe there's one person, Richard Taunton, in your team who was ranked as a tennis player. Oh, it's just not very highly, but just top 100 for 100. The eight, top 100 out of how many teams. people in the world? That's still pretty good. I, I, like, that. I like that a lot. Or in Britain. <laughs> well, and uh, Godalming, are you feeling confident? Kind of. Yeah. Relatively. Yeah. Do the best we can. You're going you're gonna to shrug at me. That's okay. Yeah. I can take that. <laughs> okay, well, welcome to both our teams. Now, let's start the show. Before we start, you'll need some points to wager, so let's begin with round one. To earn these points, the teams will have 20 seconds to answer as many quick-fire questions as they can. Each correct answer will win your team five points. Godalming, you'll be going first, and you have 20 seconds to name as many Summer Olympic sports as you can. I must emphasize I'm asking for sports, not individual events such as discus and hurdles. Okay, your time starts now. <laughs> Track and field. What are you saying? Uh, track and field? No. Triathlon. Uh, marathon. Uh, uh, running. Uh, it would be gymnastics. cycling. Cycling, gymnastics. Martial arts. Martial arts. Swimming. Swimming. Uh, weightlifting. Weightlifting. Uh, powerlifting. And that's time up. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Well done. Now, moving on to Richard Taunton. You have 20 seconds to name as many FA Cup winners as you can. Your time starts now. Chelsea, uh, Man Man Manchester United, Man Arsenal, Wigan. Man City, Liverpool, Wigan, Wigan, Wigan. Uh, Wigan Athletic, Wimbledon. Southampton, Wimbledon. Portsmouth, Wimbledon, Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday. Okay, well done teams, time's up. <laughs> At the end of the quickfire round, Godalming College, you've scored 25 points. And Richard Taunton, you have scored 30 points. Very well done. You have some seconds on the clock. It's time for our first head-to-head -head round. At the start of each round, I'll tell the teams of the upcoming category, allowing them to select their best player for the round. However, your team captains are not allowed to be selected for the head-to-heads. As the selected players head to the challenge zone, I will reveal the sub-category, allowing the rest of the teams to judge their players' chances and stake points appropriately. The two selected contestants will have 60 seconds inside the challenge zone with the winners doubling their stakes while the losing team will leave empty-handed. Okay teams, without any further ado, let's play high stakes. Okay, let's find out the subject for round two. The subject is English. Teams, you both have 10 seconds to decide who you think has the best knowledge of English to play this round. Your time starts now. And time, gentlemen. So, Godalming, who have you chosen to step up for this round? I've chosen Harry. Okay, Harry, if I can ask you to leave and make your way to the challenge zone, thank you. And Taunton, who have you chosen? Alex. Alex, if I can ask you to step up and make your way to the challenge zone. Splendid. So, how do you think they're going to do, gents? Well, I'm know. not confident. We yeah. have struggled deciding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And. Not confident either. <laughs> <laughs> not confident. Oh, Super dear me. Sorry. Come on. Have some faith in your people. So, teams, to help you, I can reveal that all the questions in this round are about fictional storybooks. In this first round, you can stake up to 20 of your points. 
Remember, the more points wagered, the bigger the reward. You have 15 seconds to choose your stake starting now. Okay, time. Thank you. We'll reveal how many points you staked at the end of the round. Godalming, you're going first in this round, so let's bring back Harry. Okay, Harry, your subcategory is fiction storybooks. You have one minute on the clock, and your time begins now. Who wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Uh, Rodel. It was. Which children's character carried an old suitcase and had a love for marmalade sandwiches? Paddington Bear. It was indeed. Dr. Seuss created the story of which animal that wore a hat? Uh, cat and hat. Indeed. Roald Dahl wrote which book about an enormous piece of fruit? Uh, James and the Giant Peach. Very good. Which fictional spy went under the code name 007? Uh, James Bond. Quite. The Ghost of Christmas Past is a character in which novel? Uh, Christmas Carol. It was a Christmas Carol. Which book published in June 2011 features the character Christian Grey? Um. Oh, Fifty Shades of Grey? It was. <laughs> in which year was the first Harry Potter book released? 1997. It was. J.R.R. Tolkien wrote which book in 1937, which is currently being made into a film trilogy? The Hobbit. It was The Hobbit. Roald Dahl wrote the book Fantastic Mr. What? Fox. It was Fantastic Mr. Fox. Which author wrote the book? I'm afraid time's up. Very, very well done, Harry. Please rejoin your team. OK, let's bring back Alex. OK, Alex, you have 60 seconds on fictional storybooks, and your time begins now. Enid Blyton created which children's character who was a wooden boy living in Toyland? Pinocchio. It was Noddy. Who is the author of the Chronicles of Narnia? Pass. C.S. Lewis. What was the first Mr. Men book to be released? Pass. It was Mr. Tickle. <laughs> F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote which book which has recently been made into a film featuring Leonardo DiCaprio? Pass. It was The Great Gatsby. Where's Wally is known as what in the USA and Canada? Where's Waldo? Absolutely. Who is the author of The Hunger Games? Pass. Suzanne Collins. John Tyree and Savannah Curtis are characters in which of Nicholas Sparks' romance novels? Pass. Dear John. Who wrote The Twilight Saga? Pass. Stephanie Mayer. Which book series boasts the most successful sales of all time? Harry Potter. It is the Harry Potter books. Who is the author of The Da Vinci Code? Pass. Dan Brown. In 1902, Beatrice... I'm afraid that's time. Very well done. Please rejoin your team. Well, the results from the challenge zone are in. And Harry answered 10 correctly. Very, very well done. While Alex, you scored just three, unfortunately. Very good. So, how much confidence did you both have in your players? <laughs> Let's see how much you staked. God all Ming, staked a measly <laughs> five points. Okay, very well done. And Richard Taunton, you staked ten points. However, God all Ming, you were the uh, victors in that round, so you double your points. Richard Taunton, I'm afraid you lose yours. So, at the end of that round, God all Ming have 30 points, and Richard Taunton have 20 points. Let's go straight on into round three. So let's have a look at the subject for round three. It's geography. You will have 10 seconds to decide which one of you is going to play this round. Your time starts now. And time's up, teams. Godalming, who's going to be playing this round for you? Uh, I will. Okay, Toby. And Richard Taunton, who have you chosen? Harry C. Harry C is going to play this round for you. Splendid. Can I ask you both, please, to leave the studio for a moment? Oh. 
Okay, very good. So, gentlemen, hopefully you're feeling a little more risky this time. So, I can reveal the subcategory in this round is famous places. This time you can wager up to 30 of your points. And we'll give you time to lock in your stakes in a moment. Remember, the higher the stakes, the greater the reward. Your 15 seconds starts now. Okay, time is up. We'll reveal your stakes at the end of the round. Godalming are going first, so can we please welcome back Toby. Okay, Toby, your subcategory is famous places, and your minute begins now. What is the largest US state? Uh, Texas. It's Alaska. The summit of Mount Everest is directly between Tibet, China, and which other country? Pass. Nepal. Which giant Ferris wheel is located along the, the River Thames? Uh, the London Eye. Indeed. Which is the third biggest country by landmass in the world? China. Indeed. How many stars are on the Turkish flag? 27. It's just the one. <laughs> the Great Pyramid at Giza is located in which country? Egypt. It is. What was the name of the hurricane that led to severe destruction in New Orleans in 2005? Katrina. It was Katrina. How many main islands make up the Hawaiian Islands? Uh, seven. It's eight. The city of Vancouver is located in which Canadian province? Uh, pass. It's British Columbia. Bucharest is the capital city of which country? Turkey. It's Romania. Which prehistoric monument is located in Wiltshire, England, and is made out of stone? Uh, Stonehenge. It was Stonehenge. Very good. Very well done. You're out of time. Please rejoin your fellows. OK, it's time to bring in Harry C. Please enter the challenge zone. Again, Harry, you have one minute. And your time begins now. Which is the second biggest ocean in the world? Uh, Pacific. It's the Atlantic. Guy Fawkes is known for the failed plot to blow up what? Houses of Parliament. It was the Houses of Parliament. In which US state would you find Boston? Uh, New York. It's Massachusetts. Which structure in France is 1,050 feet high? Eiffel Tower. It is the Eiffel Tower. What is Africa's highest mountain? Uh, K2. It's Kilimanjaro. What is the capital city of Ireland? Dublin. Very good. What famous New York landmark is climbed by the giant gorilla, King Kong? Empire State Building. It was the Empire State. Jorn Utzon designed which Australian structure? Uh, Sydney Opera House. Very good. Which wall in Asia is just over 13,000 miles long? Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China, correct. The statue Christ the Redeemer stands above which Brazilian city? Rio de Janeiro. Very good. Which tower in Italy is known for its tilt to one side? Uh, tower of Pisa, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Very good. On which street does the Prime Minister of the UK live? Downing Street. Very good. Uluru, I'm afraid you're out of time. Very well done. Please rejoin your compatriots. So, the scores are in. And Toby, you answered five correctly. Very well done. While Harry C, you managed nine. Let's see how much faith the rest of the team had in their chosen members. So, Godalming, you staked 10 points. And Richard Taunton, you staked 15. As the victors, you double your scores. I'm sorry, Godalming, you lose your stake. So, the scores at the end of that round are, Godalming have scored 20 points. And Richard Taunton have scored 35 points. Let's go into the third and final head-to-head. -head. Round four. The subject for round four is entertainment. As this is the final head-to-head, -head, only one player from each team is left to enter the challenge zone. So can both remaining contestants now please leave the studio? Well, gentlemen. Starting to hot up now. So, the round consists of questions with the subcategory movie stars. For this, you'll be able to stake up to 40 of your points, if you have them. But remember, high stakes equals high rewards. Your time starts 
now. Very good, time's up. Okay, teams, we'll find out what your stakes were later. But first, let's bring back Lawrence. Okay, Lawrence, the category is entertainment. The subcategory is movie stars. Your time begins now. Which British actress won an Oscar for her role in the 2002 film Chicago? Pass. It's Catherine Zeta-Jones. Who was the narrator for the English language version of the movie March of the Penguins? Morgan Freeman. It was Morgan Freeman. Which actress was cast as Princess Fiona in the movie Shrek? Uh, pass. Cameron Diaz. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie starred together in what movie? Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It was. In which film has Leonardo DiCaprio recently starred as Jordan Belfort? Wolf of Wall Street. It was. Where was Mel Gibson born? America. He was born in the United States. Hey. Who played Basil Fawlty in the classic TV series, Fawlty Towers? Pass. John Cleese. Who played Tonto in the TV show, The Lone Ranger? Pass. Jay Silverheels. Who plays the mother in the 1998 movie, The Parent Trap? Pass. Natasha Richardson. In the movie, Troy, what legendary character did Brad Pitt play? Troy. It was Achilles. <laughs> I'm afraid you're out of time. Very well done. Please rejoin your team. And let's welcome back Adam. OK, Adam, your subcategory once again is movie stars. You have one minute. Your time begins now. How many Rocky films did Sylvester Stallone star in? Four. It was six. What was the title of the film that starred Elvis Presley playing the role of a boxer? Pass. Kid Galahad. Who played James Bond in the film Live and Let Die? Uh, Sean Connery. It was Roger Moore. In the movie of the same name, who played Forrest Gump? Pass. Tom Hanks. Name the action star and politician who made the quote, I'll be back, Arnold, his own. Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger. The actress Hilary Swank won her first Best Actress Oscar in what movie? Pass. Boys Don't Cry. For which movie did Catherine Bigelow become the first woman to win an Oscar for Best Director? Pass. The Hurt Locker. Which actress starred in Roman Holiday and won an Oscar for her performance? Catherine Zeta-Jones. It was Audrey Hepburn. What was the title of the film in which Robin Williams played an English teacher called John Keating? Pass. It was the Dead Poets Society. Name the actor that played the father, Tom Baker, in Cheaper by the Dozen. I'm afraid you're out of time. So sorry. Thank you, Adam. Very well done. Please join your team. Very well done. So the scores are in. And Lawrence, I can reveal that you scored four points. Very well done. And Adam, I can reveal, I'm afraid you only got the one point there. So let's see what you staked. Godalming, you staked only five points, playing it very, very safe. Richard Taunton, you similarly played safe and staked five. However, on this occasion, you were the losing team, so you lose that five. Godalming, you double up. So, the points at the end of round four stand thus. Godalming, you have 25 points. And Richard Taunton, you have 30 points. With that result, let's play the final round of high stakes. Before we enter into the final round, we need to calculate how much time you have in the challenge zone. So let's convert those points you've earned into seconds. So, Godalming, with 25 points, that converts into 25 seconds. And Richard Taunton, your score of 30 gives you 30 seconds on the clock. OK, now our team captains have a crucial and possibly ruthless decision to make, with the option to sell members of your teams for vital extra seconds in the challenge zone. This means you'll have more time, but less brain power. To help the captains, each member of their team has been given a price based on their performance so far. Those prices are as follows. Toby, you're worth 15 points. Lawrence, you're worth 10 points. And Harry, you're worth a whopping 20 points. Well done. Harry C, you're worth 20. 
Adam, you're worth 10. And Alex, you're worth 15 points. You have 15 seconds to decide if you'll sell any of your team for extra time. Your 15 seconds starts now. And time is up. <coughs> right, so Godalming, who have you chosen to keep? Are you keeping everyone or are you letting some people go? Uh, we've chosen to sell uh, Lawrence and Toby. You've chosen to sell Lawrence and Toby. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> gentlemen, well, it's probably gonna win your team some more seconds, so it, it's worth taking that bullet, I guess. All right, Richard Taunton. I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to sell Adam and Alex. You're selling Adam and Alex. Okay, once again, very well done, gents. Can those of you who are staying with us please make your way to the challenge zone? So, here we are at the final. Well done to the team members who made it this far. The final round is a test of all general knowledge combined. The team with the highest score will go first, which is Richard Taunton. Okay. So, Richard Taunton, could you please make your way to the challenge zone for the last time? Okay, you've scored 55 points by selling two of your members. That gives you 55 seconds inside the zone. General knowledge, your 55 seconds begins now. Who plays the title character in the recent BBC drama, Sherlock? Benedict Cumberbatch. It is. In December 1979, which human disease was certified to be eradicated, the first driven to extinction? Pass. It was smallpox. What type of creature is Snowball in the 1945 novel Animal Farm? Uh. He's a pig. Which British comedian hosted a television show called TV Burp? Harry Hill. It is Harry Hill. How many lines are usually in a limerick? Five. It is five. Which rock band collaborated with Jay-Z on the 2004 album Collision Course? Lincoln Park. It was. What do the interior angles of a square add up to in degrees? 360. Very well done. Which sport was nicknamed Whiff Waff? Pass. Table tennis. <laughs> Lupine relates to what animal? Wolf like. It is wolf. And I'm afraid you're out of time. Very, very That's well right. done. Thank you, gentlemen. Oops. Please make your way back to your compatriots. So, now it's time to bring back, well, half of Godalming College. So, gentlemen, you know the score? You've got 50 seconds on the clock. Your time begins now. Who played Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings trilogy and subsequent Hobbit films? Ian McKellen. It was Sir Ian McKellen. Which British boxer is nicknamed King Khan? <laughs> Pass. It was Amir Khan. In filmmaking, what does CGI stand for? <laughs> Pass. Computer generated imagery. What is the name of the fairy in the play Peter Pan by J.M. Barry? T Tinkerbell. It was Tinkerbell, good. <laughs> what is the capital of the US state, Tennessee? Tennessee. Pass. Pass. Nashville. Cut, colour, clarity, and carrot are all considered when purchasing what? Diamond. It is a diamond. Which flavour jam is traditionally used in the recipe for Manchester tart? Pass. I'm afraid time's up. The answer was raspberry. Very well done. Please make your way back to your seats. OK, teams, you've been tested on your knowledge, quick thinking, strategy and risk taking. And it's now time to reveal today's winners. Ooh, the tension builds. Godalming scoring three points. And I can say, quite comprehensively, Richard Taunton with a final score of six. You are today's winners. Very well done. Please give them a big round of applause. You have secured your place in the semi-finals and are on your way to becoming high stakes champs. Well, sorry, bad luck, Godalming, but uh, a very, very solid attempt. Very, very, very well done. Tune in next time to see who will be joining Richard Taunton. 
So congratulations to them, commiserations to Godalming, thank you to both colleges for participating and to our brilliant studio audience. Thank you for watching. This has been High Stakes.